in Photoshop Elements 12, there is a new option to be able to print greeting cards on a local printer. The way you can do it is by just simply selecting Create and then choose Greeting Card. So that's the new option. And once we select that, we can choose first of all a template. So we can choose to print locally. We can select any format really that we want. Let's just choose a landscape format. And then we can choose a theme. So there are several themes here already for specific occasions like Christmas, Father's and Mother's Day and so on and so forth. Let's just choose something simple for now. I'm going to choose this one. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that looks quite nice, but um, maybe I'm going to use something else. What does this look like? Painted Memories. Ah, that's, that's quite nice. So I'm going to choose that. Click on OK. And um, Elements is actually downloading this template from the Internet. So for this option, you will need to have an um, Internet connection. And uh, once it creates the template, I will be able to just simply drag and drop photos into this template. And the way I'm going to uh, fill these frames in with images is by simply clicking on the frame and then choose one of these photos. Let's just to choose this one and I select the other one and I'm going to uh, choose another image. And we are done. So we have the images in place and now we can just play around with the text. So I can select the text here at the bottom and uh, make amends to it. We can choose tool options and then obviously we can use a better color. Probably white would be better. And I'm going to choose a uh, white color for this text at the bottom as well. So that looks already much better. And then we can have a closer look if I press Command or Control Zero we can see the two images together here and then we can click on save and then that will save our photo project it's a PSE file, a Photoshop Elements file so I'm just going to save it as the greeting card greeting card photo project format or it can also be saved as Acrobat PDF and once we are ready with it we can print this so using the print option and print it on our local printer but it will also give us the options for the print which is in a separate dialog box which looks like this so here we can set up everything really how we want to print it what size and how many copies we want of it and so on and so forth There's another cool feature in Adobe Photoshop Elements 12 and that is the interaction between Photoshop Elements and Adobe Camera Raw. So if we have an image which can be Camera Raw, JPEG or TIFF file or even PSD file, we can open them directly from Elements into Adobe Camera Raw, make the changes in Raw and then when we are ready with them, the changes will update also in Elements, Editor and Organizer. So let's see how this works. If I go to File, Open in Camera Raw, we can locate the file that we would like to edit in Adobe Camera Raw, double click on it and the file will open up in uh, Camera Raw. So here I can make my changes. I'm going to reduce the highlights to see more of the sky. I'm going to reduce a little bit the exposure and then increase the shadows and uh, maybe also increase the vibrance just to have a little mo bit more saturation in the image. Something like that and also add a bit of clarity on the image. So let's have a look at 100%. So that looks already much better. That was before and this is after. So if I'm ready with this, I can just click on done. And if we come back to elements in the editor, we can see the updates already on our photograph. Now it's much easier to synchronize your photos between your Photoshop Elements Organizer and your Adobe Revel account online. So whatever you create in your Elements, Photoshop Elements, you can already synchronize it up to your Revel account from which you can always access those images on any of your devices. So let me show you first of all how to synchronize uh, the account. What you need is 
to make sure that you have an Adobe ID and uh, you have uh, an account on Adobe Revel. Once you have that, you can click here and you can say mobile albums. So you can click on this uh, little question mark and here you just need to sign in. I'm just going to quickly sign in here. And uh, once I've done that, I will get a question that uh, do I want to choose specific media that I want to view on my smartphone and tablets or I would like to give access to my entire elements catalog uh, from all my smart smartphones and tablets and this is what I'm going to do so it will put all my media into my Adobe Revel library that's exactly what I need and I'm going to click on done so we are all set and it will appear here and the name will be Martin's Carousel and once I click on this, I can put another image in here. Let's just put this photo in here. I just click on OK. So that's already existing in my library. And then if I switch to my browser and I'm on adoberevel.com, here I can uh, sign in, web sign in with my Adobe ID. And I can already see the same image. So let's just see again if I go back here and I put another image in. And we're just going to drag and drop another image. That's it. So now I have these two images. And on the top here, I can see that the Revel uh, is updating. So it's selected as update Revel only when idle. And if we go back to uh, the browser and here we refresh. So we refresh the library. Now we see both of the images already. So I can see them and it will work on any of my devices. So if I use an, an iPad or an iPhone, whatever I upload, it's automatically added to my cloud storage uh, on the Adobe account.